Hey there guys, Collect the Toys, back with another fun video. And today I just wanted kind of to do like a show and tell video. So first of all, I want to show you guys something that I picked up a couple weeks ago. If you've seen my Instagram, you'll know. I went to this local toy show that we have every three or four months in my town. They do a local toy show where there is a bunch of different vendors who sell old toys, new toys, they sell pins, they sell posters, artists are there. It's a really fun event and me and my husband love to go. And I was looking around and I found one of the pop marvels, the unbeatable Squirrel Girl. And I really, really had to have it. It's an exclusive from the Collector Corps uh, subscription box that comes uh, every couple of months. I did... I did get that box for the very first month, but then I stopped getting the box because it was just too much and I wasn't really into it. But I really love Squirrel Girl, so I'm going to take her out of the box and show you guys. And and I really liked her and she was a good price for being um, out, out of the box, meaning out of the subscription box. And I don't think I'd be able to find her for um, that price. I think it was like... Um, like 20 bucks, which is pretty good because they normally range, these normally range about 10 to 10 to 12 bucks. So getting that for a little bit more wasn't bad. And also, I just wanted to mention because I thought it'd be really cool to show you guys this really cool book called The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. Um, it's a New York seller's best bestseller. Basically what it is, it's the backstory of Squirrel Girl before she becomes a superhero or how she becomes a superhero and finds it out. I'll read the back really quick just to give you a little synopsis of it. It says, 14-year-old Doreen Green moved from sunny California to the suburbs of New Jersey. She must start a new school, make new friends, and continue to hide her fluffy tail. Keep Doreen... Yep, Doreen has the powers of a squirrel. After failing to at several attempts to find her new BFF, Doreen feels lonely and trapped like a cage animal. Then one day, Doreen uses her extraordinary powers to stop a group of troublemakers from causing mischief in the neighborhood, and her whole life changes. Everyone at school is talking about it. Doreen contemplates becoming a full-fledged superhero, and thus Squirrel Girl is born. She saves cats from trees, keeps the sidewalks clean, and prevents vandalism. All is well until a real-life supervillain steps out of the shadows and declares Supergirl his academy. Can Doreen balance being a teenager and a superhero or will she go nuts? So I think this book is really great. It's really great for teenagers too if you guys are um like um not really into reading and stuff like that. It's a re very very easy read and I'm not a big reader but what I love about this book mainly is that I can I read the book and I can envision everything just like I am picturing it and I love books like that that bring the character to life. This book makes me feel like I'm stepping right into that town. I can picture Squirrel Girl in school doing all these things. And it just really helps my imagination um, to imagine what this... This book comes alive, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And most of the time, I don't like reading because the books don't resonate with me. So I really, really, really love this book. So keep an eye out for this book. I know you can get it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble. So it is a really good book. So next we're going to get into the Pop Marvel, the Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. Again, I got this at a local toy show and it was from the exclusive Marvel Collector's Corpse. And I was super stoked to find this. I didn't, I kind of forgot that they made a Squirrel Girl Pop. I was hoping they would someday. And then there's all the ones on the back you can collect. This one's a number 144. So you can collect Spider-Gwen, She-Hulk, Captain Marvel. Spider-Gwen Unmasked, Spider-Gwen Unhooded, and Captain Marvel Masked. So there's all the ones on the back. I think the Spider-Gwens are cool, but they made a lot of them, so that's pretty interesting. So let's get into this pop to show you what it looks like. Again, I really love the side detail of it. Just says Squirrel Girl, and then 144. And this one was in really, really good condition. That's another reason why I picked it up. So... And when I go to these toy show and conventions, they have a lot, a lot of pops. So many. So you see a lot of superhero pops and Disney pops at this convention. So. Again, I only take them out to show you guys. Oh, yes. And I totally, totally forgot that Marvel is bobblehead. If you guys have seen my videos recently, you know I am not a bobblehead person at all. I really do not like them. For the one reason is, as you guys could... Whoa. Whoa, even the squirrel is a little bobblehead. Oh no. Okay. 
First of all, we'll look at the little squirrel. How cute is that little squirrel, guys? It's super, super cute, as you guys can see. So super cute, and it's got a little pink bow and everything on the back. So the reason I do not like the bobbleheads is I forget, and then I kind of end up like kind of holding it by the head a little bit, and then it kind of like kind of falls apart. So I'm really not happy about that. So, but this one's pretty cool. So here's Squirrel Girl. She is super amazing, as you can see. She's very bobbly head, and I don't really like that because, like, I'm afraid she's going to break. That's the only thing I don't like about the springs on the bobble head. So I'm just going to do a very quick review on her because I don't want her to break. But I do love her detail of her headband and her, um, and her acorn earrings. I have earrings just like that. And then her outfit is super on point. I love that, but my favorite detail is her big tail. How cool is her big tail, guys? She is super amazing. I love it, and I love that they included a little squirrel. So I'm super stoked about this. I'm going to put her back in the box. Okay, there we go. So I got her all back in there, guys, and she's super cute. I really, really love this. I love this squirrel girl. I'm so glad I picked her up and found her. She was a nice little surprise. And if you guys have your own toy shows in your areas, please go support them. It's just really great to see people who want to sell their collection and make people happy about new collectors and things like that. And I really, really enjoy going to those. Even if I don't buy anything, it's fun to go take a look and see what other people are collecting or what they want to sell. It's a really great place to go. And definitely check out the Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, especially if you have a young daughter who is really into Marvel or superheroes. This is a great book. Even if you're an adult, this is an easy read. It's really um, great. I love that I can imagine everything that I'm reading. It's like the um, words come right off the page. I'm not really great with describing um, reading books, but again, as you know, I don't read much, but this is really good. I do got to pick it back up. It's been a while since I've read it. The main reason I have trouble with reading is that I'll read it for like a week, but then I'll kind of put it down because I don't have time to read and then I forget to pick it back up. But this inspired me and I think I'm going to pick it back up and start reading this again. Squirrel is an amazing, amazing book. Please go check it out. And I love this pop. And this was a great video to film for you guys. And please hit that bell notification. It lets me know, um, it lets you guys know when I upload new videos. I'll have new videos. And again, sorry about my schedule lately. It's been kind of off. I've been having a little bit a uh, difficult time sometimes posting on Mondays, so I'm trying to get back on that. But you will see videos three to four times a week from my channel. Some weeks uh, it'll be more like three, others will be four. If you ever see less than that, it's because I'm too busy to upload. But I always let you guys know when something's going on or if I don't have time to upload. So Squirrel is awesome and she's my favorite Marvel Girl character. Oh, leave down in the comments below who is yours. Love you guys. Have a great day.